<sighs> another cycle, another gazing up at the stars. Time to head back and figure out what that last uh, secret archive location is. And hopefully this time, this version of me is able to land on the correct side of the ship. Alright, to equipped. Checklist made. Got our waypoint set to the stranger. Let's head out. Retro Rock Kids. Hopefully, not slam into the hull of the ship. Ooh, almost did. Ugh. Okay, okay. Remember when I said don't slam into the hull of the ship? Apparently, my piloting skills did not listen to me. Let's get inside this thing before this ship explodes. See what? See, looks like gravity field was damaged, and so was the. I was gonna say the autopilot, but autopilot seems to be working okay-ish. How yeah, badly damaged is the ship? It's pretty cracked, but still holding strong. I kind of wish this place had less gravity, not more gravity. Should do. It shouldn't get flooded if the dam burst. 
wonder, can I maybe use the lantern to prop this door open? Nope, the lantern has failed me. But it seems that be having the dial constantly going in a circle. Oh, here, it gets up through here. Perfect. Sleep I go. So where could the location of that that part of the simulation be? That must be it over there by the, with all those lights and whatnot, but how do I get to it? I think it's just one of you walking around down here. Okay. That's the way down into the hole area. Mm, hearing those footsteps is so unnerving. I don't think I ever noticed that down there. It's worth a look at least. It's 
Still can't understand what that says. But I'm guessing because it's blocked off and chained up, I'm gonna guess it's probably something along the lines of keep out. <gasps> That's right. Keep the light closed so he can't see me. Ah, here's the boat that was in the reels. Alright, said that the thing to turn the lights off is up there, but I want to explore over here real quick. It's beautifully disturbing. It's the symbol of the eye, so there must have been a temple that they built in here. Maybe this was the house of the one that first discovered it? Because it does look like uh, the location where that one reel showed them all gathering around after that one discovered the, the eye signal. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. Uh, I think we went too far this way. I think it's like halfway into here. It looks like maybe back there. Oh, yep, there it is. Whoa. quite a drop. I'm pretty sure that might just kill me in here and wake me up in the real world. Okay, I know you're all not gonna like this, but lights out. way too dark, but not too dark if I go into the code of the simulation. There we go. Okay, let's take a look and get our bearings. It looks like... Okay, there's one walking around over there. Whoa. I think that might have been the sound of the dam bursting. Okay, from the looks of things, it looks like there's just one patrolling around up here. I guess that's probably the first of the tombs being destroyed. Whoa. Let's get a better look at it, a better angle. The rest of them went into the lower area down in the hole with themselves. So I'm gonna need to deal with them when I get down there. down here. Whoa. 
Uh, uh, hi. Uh, ow! Okay, which one of you just did that? Come on, come clean. <sighs> okay. New note. They do not mean no harm. They mean very much harm. They really do not want anything alive getting into the archives. Not that way, that's for sure. Okay, okay, so one hide inside that cave. That's why I couldn't see it when I was in the coded world. Hopefully there's not another one down here. Okay. Okay. Looks like I'm in the clear. And looks like I gave the other one the slip. Oh boy, is it dark in here. See what I'm working with down here. Okay, let's see. There's two, there's one down here. Oh no, there is two down here. And it looks like they're patrolling the ways that I need to get to. I'm gonna guess the archive location. to make this easy for me, are you? Maybe that's what I need. I need to leave one off and then use that one to and go around and just make a run for it. Oh, the 
both here. Oh, I don't know how I managed to get through there without getting caught. <sighs> All right, am I three for three with these things? Well, surprising nobody, I am. this time. Okay, let's take this one with the eye on it. Let's see what this is all about. Alright. So, they discovered the eye of the universe. They were close enough to be able to scan it. Wait, what? The eye destroys the universe? And that's why they torched everything. They gave their, their home, their lives, everything to find this. And it enraged them to learn what the what they believed the eye was, and that's why nobody else could find the eye. That's why the signal never kept going out because they contained it. And for the rest of their days, they settled in our solar system. So they discovered it. They found everything. They did what the Nomai were unable to do. All right, uh, what is this? Something to do with the relics and the brain? What? Okay, so being inside there creates a field. That's how you enter the simulation. It just, I guess, sinks the wavelength of your brain to match that and create another you inside this universe. One of them died before they could go rest, and there was no brain activity. But being in close proximity to the fire, they were able to continue living on in this universe, which explains why they're still here, even though their physical bodies are all dead. And the horrifying sounds that they make when that dam bursts and destroys the first tomb. I think it's the realization of, like, maybe all the years being trapped in here or purposely staying in here and just to be snapped out of it into an immediate death was overwhelming to them. All right.
Okay, what's the glitch in in the in the simulated world here? Uh, it has to do with the bells. So asleep, any outside sounds connects to the virtual world. And it snaps you awake and wakes you up in the real world. But if you're dead, there's no brain activity, so you don't hear the bells. So, if I'm getting this right, I have to die in the real world and be trapped in this virtual world to ensure that those bells don't go off when I'm here. So that I can go over to there to undo one of the locks on the coffin. <sighs> this version of me has a rough. Alright, well, I'm not going back up there, so... I think what I'm gonna do... Is go for a swim. Some of the, the breathing techniques that Gabbro taught me and just wait out the rest of the cycle. 